New Zealand horticulture is unique in that it produces a lot more produce than it can consume itself. And so exports for a long time has been very critical uh, for those industries. The other unique aspect is New Zealand is positioned a long way from its markets. And so post-harvest is central for our horticultural industries to be able to deliver the big volumes of produce that we have into these distant markets. New Zealand, with its strong reputation for quality and the need to, to achieve premium prices in these markets, really needs to have some of the best post-harvest systems in the world so that it can consistently give consumers in multiple markets the fresh produce with the appearance and the taste uh, that is going to want them to come back and, and buy more. The key things that we're trying to do in post-harvest is actually set up the optimum systems or the optimum treatments which can then be used by our partners so that they can consistently deliver the products that, that these markets are demanding. An interesting component in there is that each market has its own different requirements and what it wants. Some consumers in, in other markets might like fruit that's quite acidic and others may like it that's more sweet and then others may have uh, textural preferences that are for very soft fruit or for others that are quite firm. And so it means that there's not uh, a one recipe that fits all markets and it means you've got to have systems tailored that quite often start right back into the orchard or in, in the paddock, which you use to optimise where that's going to go. And so you might harvest or collect the produce at different times. You may store it in different ways. And through each of these different mechanisms, you can start delivering this diversity into the market so you're matching the consumer requirements. An important aspect of, of our horticultural economy is, is to actually have a diverse range of crops in there. Currently, we're dependent on two or three main crops, and they really dominate our export volumes. To have a sustainable and diverse horticultural economy, it needs to be based on many more crops. And one of the key limitations as to why some of our smaller crops haven't developed into larger export crops is that they are quite perishable and that has meant that they're currently reliant on air freight. So what we need to do in post-harvest and what we're working on is actually looking at trying to extend the shelf life of those perishable crops so that we can start enabling sea freight, which is critical for getting the scale that you need to develop those into larger crops.